and came with a charger that looks like this to charge it with. Also, this key is for the back. I dropped it. And it does say Reality Works. And this is to open up the back of the baby, which I did a video of that too, a previous video a while back. And it also comes with a controller like this that I use. And it takes regular uh, four AA batteries. And this is why we buy the key. So mine takes like this. So the other one is a round key, or I call it a key. These are called what, IDs. So they're round and they stick out. That's for the uh, Real Care 2 Plus. I mean, for the Baby Think It Over Generation 6 or Real Care 1. I, I get myself confused on that. So I hope I didn't confuse you. This is for the Real Care 2 Plus. The other one I'm talking about where it sticks out and it's round and it's got like a metal piece to it. That's the Real Care 1. Real Care 1 is the same thing as a Generation 6. That way nobody's confused. What's the difference between Generation 4 and 5? They do take a key. They do. They only have computer boxes actually inside their back. It's not like this. And they take AA batteries. The difference in them is that Generation 5 does the head support only. And Generation 4 does not. So it's a standard baby. You just hold it and you have to hold the key into it until it's done crewing. And the way it sounds is, ah, ah, and that's the sound that they make. And that's when, um, well, if it's for your grade, you have to record it. And why it, why it cried, or why do you think it cried, or how long. Um, also, this tells, they all have where it shows abuse. Um, there's these triangles or arrows, whatever you might want to call it, uh, in the computer boxes of Generation 4 and 5. You program it inside so that you cannot even get to it. And that is a teacher that sets it up for that. For different hard levels. And so they don't take controllers. And it comes with a key that looks like this. And this is the key that you would hold in the back. So you would turn it this way. When it's done cooing, you turn it this way and back out. So you put it in, turn this way, then out. Um, that's how that works. Uh, the Generation 5 has an extra era, era, or arrow, and that uh, has four, and the Generation 4 has only three of the arrows. So it tells you, like, which one. So when the teacher sees it, it'll tell you, like, if it's rough handling, or that would be the Generation 5, like, rough handling and... Um, head support and all this stuff. So Generation 4 would do the same thing. I forgot what arrow or triangle it does not have but I know it does have three so it would like show on there what it is that you didn't do or something and yeah. And this is for the box for Generation 4 and 5. Well it could be like different size key for the for the extra um computer box because it does come remove it comes in and out um, and it takes both of those take double A batteries and I believe it's four double A and I'm going to talk about this because this here someone made and these are so cute they're Disney and they actually have the center inside I don't know how they did it but they put the center inside Okay, even though this was so nice of her to make, and I bought some other stuff from her, I thought she was nice. I really did. I thought she was nice. It's not like I thought she was mean or anything. But we didn't have a fallout. What happened with the situation, and the reason why I have not gotten no more heavy mail from her or anything like that, she asked me if I would want to buy her real care two pluses baby girl and boy and she didn't come up with a price right away and I said what is kind of like your price range she's like I'll let you know so I would say probably about in 
at the time frame, I would say three weeks. By the way, this happened last year uh, in springtime. And that was just right before my health got in the way. That was before my scoliosis changed and got worse. That was before that. So she's like, do you want to buy my Rare Care 2 Pluses Boy and a Girl? And I asked her what the price range was. She said she'll let me know. So three weeks later, she says to me again, she goes, oh, did you decide what you want to do? And I said, I didn't know what the price range was. I said, I wouldn't mind, but I don't know what you're asking for them. Can you please let me know what your price range is? And she said, okay, my price range is $600 for each baby. That's $1,200 for two babies. That might be a good deal. But then again, she didn't just want to sell those. She also wanted the outfits to be gone. So she was telling me the breakdown that it would be $600 for per baby and it has to be in a lot. And she wanted $200 for controllers. She only had two controllers. This is all in a lot, I kid you not. And then for clothes, this is just for the clothes. She wanted $300 for the clothes and it was a, a whole bundle thing. And... The outfits, I would say she had, but she didn't have, like, for $300, I would think maybe tub bin fulls. It's not just going to be, what I mean by a few compared to that, what I mean by that is, like, it wouldn't be, like, uh, for example, um, one bag full. I believe that's too much for that to be included. Um, and then she wanted the car seat and the stroller to be sold, and that was Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Uh, the girl was Minnie Mouse, and the boy was Mickey Mouse. And she wanted that to be in the lot, too, for another $600. That's a lot of money to be, I mean, unless I won the lottery, I wouldn't mind doing it all. But I was nice and kind to her. I said, I'm sorry, I wouldn't mind. I would love to have them. And I said... It's just, that's out of my price range. And she says, well, I love money, I need money. Okay, that's fine that you love money, you need money. But you're asking if I would like to have them. So that's nice that she thought about me. And then when I asked her how much it would be for one, then the price changed to $900 for one baby. So, I told her that, that would, I could not do that, that it was on my price range, which it was. And I just told her, I'm sorry, hopefully that somebody else can have them. Because some people that can have, you know, that can afford that kind of price, that's great, that's wonderful. Um, so, she told me that she wanted me to really have them, but I told her, I said, I wouldn't mind, but that's... I can't afford that right now and I said that's a lot of money and she doesn't she didn't want to do a payment plan either because I asked her I said what would be your idea of a payment plan for all that and I said because I know you only want to sell in a lot she said no I won't do payment plan so I said okay and I said I'm sorry and uh, I did ask, she did offer and I even asked she offered this to me she said would you be interested in the outfits I said yes but I said it depends on the sizing and because she had different sizing which is pretty much fine with that but for what she had I was actually going to get socks and I was going to get um, headbands and stuff but I didn't want to buy the whole lot for $300 because it was literally going to be only two bags like if you ever went to um it doesn't have to be target it could be jc penny it could be nordstrom you know those big i don't want to say those big giant bags but you know those big bags and like if you have a big bulky item and you want the item inside the bag or even at toys Us where they have those big bags it was all of that and she wanted 300 dollars for it. that's a lot of money and that's not really a lot of stuff either so i asked her if she would 
let me do $50 for whatever outfits that might be that it would put on to that. And she did agree at first. She's like, yeah, of course. And then she contacted me two days after, said that she found somebody else that actually had a higher bid on them. So she's going to let them have it. And I said, that was fine. So I wasn't mad or anything. I was just like, okay, I'm fine with that. And I said, uh, but thank you for letting me know. So at least she did let me know. So I said, okay, thank you for letting me know. And she said, okay. And she's like, I just don't want to be contacted because I don't have the baby think it overs no more. And I said, okay, that's fine. You know, I was okay with that. And I said, okay. And I said, uh, I wish you the best. She's like, yeah, you too. So, um, that was all that happened there. I mean, nothing bad or anything. It's just, uh, I wouldn't mind talking to her still to this day just to talk. But, um, it's okay. She wanted her, uh, you know, her way of, you know, she just didn't want to be contacted because she didn't have the babies anymore. And I was totally fine with that. Um, I noticed that some people said that they only want to be in the community for reborns. Just to have lots of views on the video. And um, nobody asked me what the feedback was on that. But I feel that if you like dolls and you have lots of joy of dolls... Uh, that's great. That's uh, that's wonderful. There'd, that'd be more of us that will like dolls and stuff. And we can we all have something in common. And we can also talk about other stuff besides dolls. Um, it's just that... To me, this is how I feel. Like, if you're asking someone for... It doesn't have to be something free. But when you're asking somebody, Oh, is your doll for sale? I really want this one. Can you send her to me? Or him? Or it could be... It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a reborn. It could be a baby think it over... It could be American Girl doll. Oh, since you have so many or um, they're just a doll, can you send me one? Or um, here's, like, so, um, I guess some people are giving out their address even for them to be sent out. Uh, nobody's done that to me, uh, knock on wood. But that's not safe either, and especially if that's a child. That's not too safe because anybody can... Obviously, if once they have your address, uh, they can start bothering you, and that would not be good. Um, so yeah, I would probably recommend that you don't give out your address. Um, also, I feel like it's not only, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say odd, and I don't want to say mean, but it's not okay. It's okay to, it's, to ask, like... Oh, would you ever sell this one or whatever? I, I don't want to say it's completely okay, but at least you're asking, you're not demanding. But still, like, when something's in somebody else's um, collector item, it doesn't even have to be a doll, even like cars. Like, I don't know, I never heard anybody say anything about cars. But um, my fiance, he's got great collection of cars and for someone to say, oh, can you send me a car, you know, here's my address. Um, I feel not only odd, but it's not right to do. It's, it is kind of mean. I mean, you don't, when someone wants that in their collection, they save up their money so they can have that. That's, that's what they wanted in their collection. Um, I get it that not everybody can afford things like collector cars or something but you save up your money for that and I'm sorry if you are a child but I like what someone said that a parent should know what their child is doing and what they're asking for and I don't feel it's right that they're asking for your personal collection knowing that you don't know if you ever would sell it like with me with my American Girl dolls I could not sell one it would break my heart if I had to but that would be like the very best least resort. I mean, that has to be something like huge and extremely whatever before I could ever sell any of my dolls, any of them. I, I love her to death. She is here forever. She's, all my dolls are for like forever, forever, forever. Like, um, that would be like the worst case scenario if I had to sell her. And if I did, I, I wouldn't just be heartbroken. I'd be like devastated at... Trust me, I'd be looking for another one just like her if I ever sold her and 
obviously I don't have to worry about that because that would never happen in my case. But it's not okay for someone to say, oh, since it's in your collection, can I have her? Can you send her to me? No, because that's, even if, well, with the Reborns, they're art. And people spend their money on that because that's what they want. That's Not only do they want it, but it, they want it part of their collection. They are bonding, like with me, with all my American Girl dolls. I love how they look. I love that I display them so pretty and they're all got different ways of looking and they're just beautiful. And her, she's beautiful. My baby boy, Christopher, that's his name, he's beautiful. And I even have the bitty babies that's American Girl. Like, for someone to say, oh, can you sell me? I'm sorry, but no, I can't. I cannot sell it to anybody. Um, that's my personal uh, collection that is going to stay here for like a lifetime it's just to me that part is wrong um nobody should ever feel like they have the right to ask that or even consider that that's just wrong that did happen to someone and to me that's it is rudeness it's it's wrong i call it wrongly doing um you should never ask anybody for something that's in their personal collection um especially if somebody even well I know it's video games and video games, but it's like asking someone, oh, can I have your video game counselor, counsel, counselor, <laughs> counsel, because I want to play games and I can't afford, that's wrong asking for someone that you have that's personal to you. That's just, that's where I say that the parents, most likely those are children that are doing that and their parents need to know what they're asking and what they're doing. Um, if you're an adult that's doing that, and because we don't know what's going on behind screen, if it's an adult doing that, that's not okay either because this is our hobby. This is what we love. This is what we love doing. This is our hobby. Um, of course, I have her for a lot of reasons. I love her, how she looks. She, she's just a beautiful baby to me. Some people might say she's ugly, but she's beautiful. Um, my reborn that I have, I know I have her in the bed and she's so special to me in many ways and she even looks like, a little bit like me when I was a little a baby. Um, it's just, it, not only does it help me because I do have scoliosis and whatever not, like, I don't know if I, here's another thing too that I can go on to that. So where I have scoliosis, it's very crucial that I I mean, I love children, but for me to have one of my own, it's very dangerous for me to. And I don't want to take that high risk because it's 50-50 chance that I can come paralyzed. And no matter boy or girl, once I'm pregnant, my child will have scoliosis. And they can be in severe, not only can, but they have a very high risk of having worse scoliosis to me and the S is the worst and I have an S. There's a C scoliosis which is not too bad but an S is where you curve from the top all the way to the bottom and unfortunately I have the worst kind and I'm one of the very rare ones that this happens to at the age that I'm at. Usually this happens when you're 60 years old or 12 years old. If I was 12 years old today I wouldn't have no choice but to do surgery and I can't do surgery because I'm done growing. I can't have surgery because unfortunately my, uh, what's those things called, like I know your vertebrae but those little things that go across so like here's your spine and it's got those little rigid things that go like this across your spine, um, they're not strong enough. They're I don't want to say they're they're weak, but they're not strong enough. They're actually deteriorating. So, um, that's the news on that. I mean, I know it's no good news, but um, just because I can't do everything I want to do or everybody else can do or I might not be able to go on rides anymore, like roller coasters and such, but it makes me happy watching everybody else do it. I don't know. It's just weird for me, like... I'm accepted what happened to me. I'm hoping this is still temporary. That 
right now I get, to, I get to deal with it, but maybe next year or months to come. I'm just being very hopeful that this is just temporary and I can go back and go on a roller coaster. Not that I would want to go right away, but I can go on a carnival ride that's small or something. Um, something I can tolerate, at least something. But if not, I am totally accepting what is. I mean, I can't change that. This is me. I can't change it, and this is what I'm dealing with. So physical therapy is just to prevent it from getting worse. And my left leg has, is actually getting nerve damage. They thought it was muscle all this time, which I overlooked it, which it doesn't, it didn't bother me because... Um, I don't want to say they hurt or anything, but it's just my leg does for a little week and I lose my balance. Um, I don't have a balance like I once had. My balance was really good. Um, but over, since all this flared up all at one time, uh, my left leg is weak and they was trying to make it stronger so they thought it was muscle. When I did my last evaluation, which was last week, on Thursday, so it'll be a week from tomorrow, so a week ago, hold on, gotta go, 